Welcome to the spoken tutorial on creating a registration form. In this tutorial, we will learn to create a simple registration form with text view, plain text and buttons. Run the Kotlin app to see the output in an Android phone. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 16.04 operating system, Android Studio version 3.x, an Android phone with minimum of Android OS version 4.03. To follow this tutorial, you should have basic knowledge of Java programming language and Android Studio. If not, then go through the relevant tutorials on this website. In this tutorial, we will design a form as shown here. Let us open Android Studio. Click on Start a new Android Studio project to create a new project. Enter a new application name as Registration Form. Repeat all the steps as we did earlier. Enter the activity name as First Activity. Click on the Finish button at the bottom of the window. Now the Android Studio IDE opens. Click on activity underscore first dot xml file. First, we will delete the default hello world text view. Select the text view in the layout editor and press the delete key on the keyboard. Now, let us add a text view. Drag the text view tool and place it in the center of the layout editor. This text view represents the label. Here, the text is non-editable. In the attribute panel, change the text attribute of text view as registration form and press enter. Look at text appearance now. By default, it is material.small. Change the text appearance as material.large to increase the font size for better clarity. Let us see how to align and resize your view in constraint layout. There are four circles in the axis of the text view which are called as constraints. Each constraint represents a connection or alignment to another view or the parent layout. The layout editor uses constraints to determine the position of a UA element within the layout. For resizing, we can drag the dot at the four corners of the text view. Let us place the text view in the top center of the layout editor. Click on the top circle of the text view and drag towards the top. It will now be aligned to the top of the layout editor. Next, click on the left circle of the text view and drag towards the left border. Click on the right circle of the text view and drag towards the right border. To remove a particular constraint, keep the mouse pointer on the circle. You can see the constraint highlighted in red color. Click on it. It will remove the constraint. I will add the right constraint as I did before. Now the text view is placed in the top center. Now let us add two more text views. Drag the text view tool and place it below the registration form text view in the layout editor. In the attribute panel, change the text attribute of text view as spoken tutorial and press enter. Change the text appearance as material.medium. Click on the top circle of this text view. Then drag the arrow to the bottom circle of the registration form text view. Align the left and right of the text view to the center of the layout editor as shown. Likewise, drag the text view tool for the label name. Place it below the Spoken Tutorial text view. In the Attribute panel, change the text attribute of text view as name and press Enter. Align the text view to the left and the top of the layout editor as shown. Now, click and drag the tool Plain Text from the palette and place it below the name text view. Plain Text represents 
text view in which you can edit the text. Note that in the attributes panel, it is specified as edit text. It helps to enter any data in a text field. In the attributes panel, remove the text attribute of plain text and press enter. Let it be empty so that a user can enter the name during runtime. Now we will add constraints for this edit text. Change the ID of this edit text to an unique name, say name text box. Note the capital letters T and B in the name name text box. Now we will add a button in the layout editor. In the palette, click on buttons. On the side panel, find a tool called button and drag it to the center of the layout editor. Now add the constraints for this tool as demonstrated here. Now change the ID of this button as my send button. Change the text property to click here, which will change the text of the button in the layout editor. Our design of the registration form is ready to run. Connect your Android phone to the USB port of your computer. In the Android Studio interface, click on the play button at the top right to run the app. Follow the same steps as we did earlier to run the app on the phone. Select the registration form icon on the phone. We can see the design of the interface on the phone. If you want to change the position of the tools, drag and align accordingly. Let us go back to the Android Studio interface. Now go to firstactivity.kt5. Here we will add the code for getting the text input from the user. In onCreate method, at the end press enter. First we will declare a variable name of type string. Assign an empty string as shown here. Now on the next line, type as shown. This assigns the value of name text box to the variable name by calling its text method. Note that the name text box is the ID which we have given to the edit text. This is equivalent to get text in Java. Now the name variable will get any input given by the user. Next we will write the code for the button. Type the command statement as shown. Whenever the button is clicked, some action has to be executed. For this, we have a method called setOnClickListener. Type the code as shown. You may see an error or warning in the code which is highlighted in red color. To resolve this, keep the cursor on the code and press ALT plus ENTER keys. Select the appropriate option to quick fix the errors. Errors like missing imports, variable assignments, missing reference, etc. are fixed using this. Any code written between these blocks get executed when the button is clicked. Type the below code within the my send button dot set on click listener block. This code will store the value of which the user has entered in the text box to the variable name. Toast is a class which provides a pop-up message with a given text for the given duration. Show method will show the output. All the codes are available in the code file link of this tutorial. You can make use of it when you are practicing. Run the app to see the output in the phone. In the Android phone window, launch the registration form app. I will enter a name. Click on the button, click here to see the output. The name we typed in the edit text is shown as pop-up message. Switch back to the Android Studio interface. We will create a new activity to send the text to the new page when the button is clicked. On the left panel, in the Project Explorer, right-click on the App folder. From the menu, select New, 
and then activity and then empty activity. Configure activity window pops up. Enter the name of the activity as second activity. Keep all the remaining fields as default. Click on finish. The IDE creates a new activity. The code file is secondactivity.kt and the design file is activity underscore second.xml. Now let us design the user interface for second activity. Click on activity underscore second.xml. Drag a text view to the center of the layout editor. Join the constraint circles as shown here. Change the text appearance as material.large to increase the font size for better clarity. Change the ID property to some unique name say welcome text view. When the user clicks on the click here button from first activity, the second activity is launched. Click on first activity.kt. Write the code as shown below the toast line. New activities are launched through objects called intent. This function creates an intent containing the second activity as parameter. Next, we will send the data that we collected on the first activity to the second activity. Type the code after the intent object as shown. The put extra method adds the edit text value to the intent. In this method, we pass the data by giving it a specific reference name. This is indicated by the variable refer name. We can access this data in the new activity by giving the reference name. This code will send our data in name variable to next activity. Type start activity within parenthesis intent. This will start the new activity when the button is clicked. Our task is to obtain this data in the second activity. Click on the second activity.kt. Inside onCreate method, at the end, press enter. Create a new empty string variable as shown here. Next, we will write code to get the name passed from first activity. Type the code as shown. This method will save the name that was received from the first activity in the variable obtain name. Type welcome text view dot text equal to within double quotes welcome plus obtain name. Here we change the text attribute of welcome text view. Run the Kotlin app to see the output on the phone. Enter a name. Click on the button click here to see the output. We will see an output as welcome and the name which we have given in the edit text view. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learn to create a registration form with text view, plain text and buttons. Run the Kotlin app to see the output in an Android phone. As an assignment, in the activity underscore second dot XML, add two text view in the layout editor. In the first text view, change the text attribute to registration form. In the second text view, change the text attribute to spoken tutorial. Remove the existing constraint and align the tools. Run the Kotlin app to see the output. After completing the assignment, your app should show the output as shown here. The video at the following link summarizes a spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your time queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NME ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. The Android app and the script for this tutorial 
was contributed by Abhishek Shah. And this is Nirmala Venkat along with the Spoken Tutorial team from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for watching.